Hi! It's Mia! So, today is going to be my third annual back to school supply haul video. And if you didn't know, I've done two of these videos, hence third annual, um, before in the past. And I'll have you know, I looked so different in my last video. And I said this last year because I looked so different in that previous video as well. Anyways, I basically look like a new human being every single year. Who knows what I'm going to look like next year? But anyways, I'm going to have both of those videos linked down below because last year I had like blue hair, the year before I had black hair, purple hair next year? In this video, I'm just going to show you guys what I bought for back to school supplies. This is more geared towards high school, but it works pretty much for any grade, just because they are essentials and just things that I think everyone should have. Why are you blending? Mom! Me, Mom! Really, she's making a smoothie. A smoothie. Also, I am going to be doing a giveaway for the backpack and all of the supplies I showed in this video. So, if you want to win that, just stay tuned to the end because I'm going to be announcing all the rules and stuff. In the previous videos, I showed you guys tips on how to stay organized, but I'm not going to go over those um, just because they are said and done in the last two videos. Yeah, just basic haul. Let's get started. Oh, and there is a truck. Do you want to everyone wanting to make a smoothie today or so you basically can't go to school without a backpack so I went to Target and I picked this one up I actually got this in the clearance so I don't really know if it's available right now but I'm gonna be giving it away so someone can have it it has a front pocket right here and two on the side and then this big flap right here and you just open it like so and there's this drawstring so First thing I got was a backpack. I'm letting everyone know that everything in this video, everything in this video is from Target. So, if you guys ask, you didn't pay attention. But I got this folder. I think everyone in the world owns a binder like so. This holds all your papers, all your homework, every paper, everything. Like everything goes in here. Everything. So, this is from the brand Green Room if you guys want to get it. And it's just orange and has like these gold holographic um, stickers on it. Stickers questionable um so yeah three ring binder and I believe this is a two and a half inch I've gotten away with a two and a half inch um during high school but middle school I definitely had to hold a lot of papers so I would actually recommend asking your teachers or something like that but two and a half is best for probably a high school kid maybe a senior I don't know I think I think in the last video if I am correct, I was dying of heat. Incredibly, incredibly hot in this room. It's literally so hot in here. The sun is being so rude right now. If you guys are going into a... Really? If you guys are going into a school with a locker, I would recommend one of these locker shelves. I'm not really gonna go over anything else as far as lockers go because I did a whole video on that, which I mentioned. Um, but I would recommend a locker shelf. So the next thing I picked up was a notebook. Um, I actually carry around a small one just because I don't really think a large one is necessary. Plus I feel like these small ones are a little bit more durable. I just use this to write down random notes. Um, it could be in any class. I just feel like something easy to write down random things in is essential. Paper. I would recommend you guys get just some filler paper that you guys can put in your three ring binders. I think every teacher wants you to have this. Um, it's better than just like ripping out pages in notebooks. I feel like it's just really, you need, everyone needs paper. Come on, guys. come on. These are sheet protectors. You basically just put your important papers in these sheets. So this is what it looks like. It's just a clear piece of plastic. And you just put important papers in here and it has these three rings or three holes in it already. So it just protects an important paper that you need. So if you have like a class syllabus or something important, this kind of goes hand in hand with the small notebook. But if you prefer a larger one or if you need a larger one for a certain class, then I would just recommend this. This is just the cheapest one I could find at Target, like 30 cents or something. I forgot I got a cuter notebook, so I thought I'd show you this rather than the red one. So next would be writing utensils, and you need them because if you don't have them, you're going to have blank papers. That makes sense, right? Um, I have just these regular mechanical pencils from previous experience. Um, these are the best mechanical pencils out there. Um, they're the Papermate Jumbo Twist Up Erasers. These are amazing. 
recommend them. So next you would need some pens. Um, these are the Papermate Design Metal pens. They're just regular ballpoint ones. Um, I like using a pen rather than a pencil. If I have to use a pencil, I'll use mechanical. I feel like I'm really just talking so fast in this video. <laughs> Nothing is making sense. But I like pens just because they're cleaner. And I would also recommend you guys get a colored pen. This one has four different colors in it and it's like in a twistable, really convenient pen. So it looks like one, but it's actually basically four inside one. If you're writing notes and you need to separate something in different categories, this would be awesome. If you don't like colored pens, you can also go with highlighters. Um, it's basically going to serve the same purpose. Or if you need to highlight stuff in books or just notes that you already wrote, anything like that. These are the UB Mini Highlighters 10 pack and it has a million colors, well, 10 colors. <laughs> Wow. If you make mistakes, I make mistakes a lot writing things down in real life as well. That was. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. That sounds really, really bad. Anyways, these are Bic Whiteout Correction Tape. If you guys haven't used these before, it's basically just whiteout um, in tape form. You just drag it along your paper. These are a lot cleaner and better than the regular ones that are in like a nail polish bottle and some teachers don't allow you to have those nail polish bottle white out so these work amazing. Every single year I tell you to get a planner and every single year from this one I will continue to tell you to get a planner. These are essential in school. In life. So this is just from Target. They have tons and tons there. You guys can go to Office Max, Office Depot. Is Office Max still alive? Basically, they have weekly to monthly planners. So if you guys get a homework assignment, you can just go to the month and there's like a big calendar here. And then you can also go to the day and there's a big space where you can write all your homework assignments. I would not have gone through high school without this, to be honest. I would have probably failed in like probably just be the same. But really, in order to remember to get all your homework done, unless you have like an amazing memory, I don't, I really have a terrible memory. So I needed this and I would have honestly probably died without this. This is a mini supply kit. I don't really think everyone needs this, but it's super cute and I guess it's good for if you really, it's like a mini emergency kit. Um, it has a hole punch, a stapler, a staple remover, tape dispenser, a pencil sharpener, scissors, staples, and tape in this little thing. So, I mean, it is kind of like noisy and probably embarrassing if you're like running to class and like you just hear this in your backpack. Um, <laughs> that was me basically my whole life. But if you're ever in need for tape or like a stapler or something and your teachers don't carry it, this would come in handy. I imagine everyone's going to be taking a math class sometime in their life and you're going to be needing a calculator that is more than just a regular calculator. I mean these days now you can use your phone and like they have a really good calculator on there but some teachers don't allow you to do that so this is the calculator I use all throughout every year. I mean I really didn't need anything else besides this one. I didn't need like a graphing calculator so this one worked out well. This is the Texas Instruments TI-30. Yo, oh, it is so hot. It says this calculator is good for general math, pre-algebra, algebra 1 and 2, geometry, statistics, and general science. Next is divider tabs. This just goes straight in my binder. And I just mark every um, subject in here. So I just put all my papers in the marked subject and it just stays organized. Next are these little post-its. They're just basic post-its. They're pretty small. Um, I just write random little notes in here. If I have a test or something, I just slap it on my folder, just slap it anywhere, slap it on your friend's forehead, it doesn't matter. Post-its are good and they help you remember things and they're super bright so you won't miss them at all. So that's going to be it for this year's video. I didn't want to elaborate too much into the things because I have done this video twice, like I've said. I'm just doing this video again because it was so highly requested and I did buy different things this year. So I wanted to share those with you guys. So firstly, I'm going to be giving away this backpack right here. And all you guys have to do to win is follow me on Twitter. Tweet me with the hashtag Mamma Mia giveaway. I really didn't. Honestly, I couldn't think of anything else. So... Mamma Mia giveaway is going to be the hashtag to win this backpack, so just tweet me with that. Make sure you follow me as well, and I'm going to be picking a winner within the next week, and I'll be tweeting you guys as well. Now, 
for the supplies, I'm going to be doing an Instagram winner. So all you have to do is follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at MiaScammer. I'm going to have that link down below. All you have to do is just follow me and I'm going to be picking a random follower. So yeah. This is going to be the end of the video. Let me know. Please let me know what other back to school videos you guys want to see because I'm kind of stuck and I don't know. I feel like everyone just wants different things. So just let me know. I'm going to be doing a what's in my backpack next. So that's a heads up. Also, I feel like a lot of you guys don't know, but I have a blog channel. I just thought I'd mention it. Uh, my blog channel is youtube.com slash miastammer. Having that link down below too because I'm going to start blogging a lot more on that. So this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.